it's tough being a single parent. Um, when you've got somebody else with you, you can come home at the end of the day, put the kids to bed, and then sink down on the sofa, and at least you can, you know, you can vent to each other, drink together, have a coffee together, have a meal together, and have a moan together. And that actually often puts you back up onto your feet, ready for the next day. When you're the only adult in the house, you often feel totally on your own. You never have a chance to put things into perspective. You never have a chance to bounce things off someone else. And it can feel really, you can feel very vulnerable and very unhappy and very much at risk. So what can you do about it? Well, for a start, recognize you're actually not a parent on your own. There has to be another person there for those children to be in existence. Um, so there is another parent. You may be at loggerheads with them, if you're still in some way in touch with them, why don't you give them a buzz? Because what you could be saying, ring them up, ask them around, or do it on the phone, and basically be saying to them, this is not about us. I want to have a chat about our child or our children. And it's quite amazing how many people find, um, when they make that step, they may have thought that the other parent was out of the scene, not available for them, not ready for them. When they actually make that advance, they might actually find that the other parent is longing to help because it is their child and they recognise this and maybe they do also want to talk about their child and want to support you in being the parent to their child. So that's the first person you can think about approaching for a bit of support. Who else? Other parents. Um, the people you might meet at the school gate. Um, people you've known through your child, the, the parents of, of, of other children. They may also be single parents, they may be couples, but why not get together with them sometimes to talk about kids? Make a sort of a buddy system um, where, you know, if I'm having a bad time, I can ring you up and you can ring me up and just, you know, we can just sort of talk about this. Um, vent a bit, moan a bit, but come to a solution together as well. What about family members? What about your parents? What about the other grandparents who also care about your children and therefore perhaps would be more than happy to be on the end of the phone for you to chat through? have that relaxation, have that relief, have that support. But the other thing, of course, is the professionals. What about family lives? What about ringing our helpline? That's what we're there for. There are also other specific helplines that we could direct you towards for any sort of problem you may have, or just to have a chat, or you could have one online. Um, get you know, get, get, get on, on online and talk to other parents. There are lots of forums where you can chat and know that because you're anonymous, you're not being judged, you're not going to be told off. What you are going to find, actually, is you're not the only one in that sort of situation, and that can be a great relief. And by talking with other parents, you may not find a specific solution for the situation that might be bothering you, but at least you know you're not alone.